Hi, I'm Patrick Primers, and in today's episode, we're going to show you how you could solve the ammo shortage of 2021. 100 guns, 100 proof, 100 shots for me and you. Feeling great, acting sane, that's just what I really do. Oh, 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 oh. 100 guns, 100 proof, 100 shots for me and you. Feeling great. Now, this is going to be dependent on two big ifs. You know, the first one being the biggest one, you need to have a buddy that works at a gun store whose boss has been hoarding the primers and having some to you on the down low. Pull your cock out, yeah. You pull your cock out, yeah. I pull my cock out. That's number one. Number two, you need to have a friend that has reloading components, which shouldn't be as difficult, but it might be, depending on your situation. So we have plenty of 5.56 blasts laying around. We're looking for Winchester head stamps. We're looking for Lake City head stamps and Federal. So I already have my die set up here. Now, some of you might yell at me in the comment section saying it's better to cut it and then size it. I already have the stem out of the die, so it doesn't matter for me. It's fine. Fuck. <laughs> So what we were doing here was, after we sized the casings in the uh, lead press to 300 blackout spec, we got this out, this little mini saw here, and we were cutting the casings down to the 300 blackout length. Now, this isn't the last step we did to finish these case. You'll see in the next video. So here on the screen is the sex symbol that is blessing your eyeballs, holding a drill. Uh, yeah, what's in that drill is the little trimmer. It's called the world's finest trimmer. That's what we like to call it. Little cheap tool, nice tool. But uh, all it does is trim that brass down to the length you want it. We have a set screw in there for the bit that's with that's inside of that that uh, cuts it down. I mean, it did a good job. We were out of spec a little bit. wasn't It wasn't doing what we wanted it to, but we ended up figuring it out. You'll see in this next video what I'm talking about. All right, so we got the brass cut and trimmed. We ran into an issue. Uh, what I think is happening is the shoulder on the case here, we're getting a little bit of inconsistency from the die just because of the different head stamps and we still had like the 223 neck and shoulder on it. So Franklin is over there, deburned it from the cutting tool. And then I'm sizing these again, waiting for the battery to charge on the drill so that way we can cut it and then get down to business. Best use of our time right now. So we did all that, got that shit figured out. Next, we were on the primer pocket swager, just doing this over and over again, all 200 cartridges, making sure that that was in good shape for when we put the primers in. So these next videos here, you see all those primers, which is basically like gold coins these days, worth a fuck ton of money. Everybody wants primers, can't get them. Well, we got them here, baby. Only 200 of them, sadly. But uh, just shaking it around, getting these primers all to look up to the north, see God, look them in his eyes. Had to flip them over with his little chubby fingers, but yeah, this thing was ready to rock and roll. Uh, we just got done processing the brass here, uh, and they're primed as well. There's one problem. These are flat base bullets, so they won't drop directly down in. And w if we do try to force it, that runs the risk of crushing this neck here. So we're running this thing up through an expander die, right? Not much pressure there. This comes on. This bad boy drops right in. No questions asked. All right, after seven hours of brass prep. I'm six hours, six. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's a lot of work. We're finally getting into the actual loading stage. So we have the primers in there, loading up the powder. Just going to put my CFE black on there just to double check. 19 point something grains. That's good enough for me. And I'm just going to do this until the block's full. And then my friend Austin over here is going to put his bullets in. And then he's going to go home. And then I'm going to eat dinner. And... Um, do something that I'm not allowed to say on YouTube. So I'll tell you what, you're looking at Benjamin Bullet right here, stuffing these fucking casings. And these casings are a little bit rough on the edges on the bottom. And I'm getting my two little chubby fingers and I'm going like this. And I'm seating this fucker home, just like that. Take a look at that. Six and a half, seven hours later, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Reloading 300 blackout at like 41 cents a round. On the internet it's like 125 plus tax and shipping. I think I like saving 80 cents a round, but as much as I like a heavy set broad on top of me with big milky jugs, but no, we're not talking about that tonight. We're not talking about that tonight. We're talking about this. Sure, sure how many we did so far? That's about 100 and, 160 so far, finishing up these last half, but it's been a battle to say the least today. 
Thank Christ I got jibunition in my left ear, or else I'd be in hey, Peter Powder. Some fucking tough shape. 13 hours, three days, nine nights later. There's 201, 300 blackout reloaded fucking cartridges. And I'll tell you what, 41 cents a pop over the fucking dollar twenty-five, dollar thirty, dollar fifty rounds online per round. I'll take it any day of the week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Cowboy hat and Miller light, yeah, I'm feeling good. Everybody in the town says I'm no good. As a country boy, I'm winning when I'm rolling with the crew. Money is the motivation, so fuck you. Drag racing on the dirt roads in a